Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nkenna. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a subscription box unboxing and I'm very excited about this one. If you guys have been watching me for quite some time, you guys know that um, the most consistent subscription box that I always come back to and try and give another chance to and always try and see what's new, what do they have going on. It is Ipsy, so I'm really excited to be doing this today. So I just wanted to show you guys a few of the products that I got as well as tell you a little bit more about Ipsy if you are not familiar with the brand. And just to tell you guys about the two different subscriptions that they have, they have the OG, the traditional Glam Bag, and then they also have the Glam Bag Plus. The Glam Bag is $12 a month and it's gonna come with five different samples. These five samples are gonna be deluxe sizes, so they're not gonna be your traditional itty bitty little containers. They're gonna be bigger than that as well as you do get the glam bag so it's a nice reusable bag I've used them from anything from travel bags to pencil pouches to little pouches where I can put feminine products in it's whatever you want it to be and they are always really really cute in the traditional glam bag all of the samples total up to about $50 plus in value this was the subscription option that I always went with it was a great way to find out about new brands indie brands or try out brands that maybe as a college student I couldn't quite afford but I wanted to see what was it like like and once I tried it I was like okay I'm willing to splurge and spend that extra money on this so it's just overall it's a great way to find out about a lot of brands for a cheaper price at a $12 price point and you're getting a $50 plus value you really can't beat that the newer option that they have is the glam bag plus this is gonna run you $25 a month you get five full-size products so with the subscription you're gonna get five full-size products as well as a glam bag plus although you're only paying $25 the value of the subscription is $125 and up. Personally, I think that this is a really excellent option if you're not a beginner and you are glam savvy and you just want to try a bunch of products. Um, you know that you're going to play with them and experiment with them however you want. I think that this is a great option for somebody who, you know, is seasoned with makeup and is willing to give anything a try. In their glam bags, Ipsy partners with over 300 brands. So you're going to get a lot of well-known big name brands as well as a lot of smaller indie brands that you haven't quite heard about. But I will say from experience, a lot of those indie brands have a lot of products that work really well, especially with somebody who has super duper sensitive skin. So this month for the glam bag is this black faux leather bag and it says your magic. The keychain tassel is a star and a moon that reminds me a lot of Sailor Moon. And then when you turn it around, this is what it looks like on the front. So you have a doe foot applicator, you have a compact, you have lips, you have, what is that, nail polish? I can't tell. It looks like nail polish to me or just a lipstick. There's another brush. Um, there is a heart and then it says Ipsy at the bottom and it's this gold detailing again on that black faux leather bag. First up in terms of products, this is the Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid serum. This, I'm very excited about this. As soon as I saw this, I was like, oh snap, is that what I think it is? Um, this product alone, I believe it's over a hundred dollars and I have been using this since coronavirus started. Um, as a nurse, I wear masks every day at work for 13 plus hours and my cheeks have been breaking out a tremendous amount to the point where it looks like I have freckles on my cheeks. Um, so this is the only product outside of the clindamycin wipes I was prescribed by my dermatologist that helps a lot with those breakouts. I come home, I wash my face, and then I put this on before bed. I wake up and the, it just zaps and shrinks those pimples to the point where I don't even feel inclined to pop them. So right off the bat, this alone pays for the bag itself. But this is their A plus high dose retinoid serum and it says advanced strength retinoid serum delivers a 6.5 percent power blend of stabilized retinoids and retinoid like botanical extracts into the skin and you're getting one fluid ounce next up from bobby brown you are getting this smoky eye mascara it just comes in a standard silver tube and it says bobby brown on the front you can never have too much mascara something that i've said recently is that i am trying to look more awake at work so i'm trying to not wear a full face of makeup but but do things like fill in my brows or put on mascara, just anything to look more awake, especially since at work you can only see from <laughs> my eyes up. So try and look more friendly, more lively underneath the mask. And this is what the mascara wand looks like. Next up from Smashbox is their Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer. If you guys are new here, I'm a very oily girl. I like matte everything. I have not tried anything from Smashbox in a long, long time. 
it's been some years. I think it's been since like 2016, 2017. So I'm excited to try this out, bringing it back into the fold. But definitely this is something that I can see working out for me because again, as an oily person, you can never have too many mattifying agents. And with the sample size, I feel like this is big enough that I can use it multiple times and get a good idea of whether I like it. It's not just one of those little paper samples that you, you know, barely get enough to cover one quarter of your face. I feel like I can do my makeup at least for a solid one to two weeks, assuming I did my makeup every day and get a good idea of, oh, okay, this is something that really works well for me. I'm gonna invest in a bigger size of this. The next product we have is from Briogeo. This is their Farewell Frizz Roscaro Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So immediately I'm already thinking of what plans I have for this product. I have a protective style in, I have these knotless braids in, and I like to moisturize my hair every day before work. Um, so I will definitely be using this throughout the week and just spraying it on my hair and making sure that my hair is staying moisturized underneath the braids. And fun fact, Briogeo is black owned. Something that I love about Briogeo products, they always smell very clean. They don't smell chemically, they smell very natural. Um, I think a good way to describe them is that they always smell like flowers. Very, very clean, very crisp. Um, so that's really nice because I think with a lot of products, especially for um, your hair and black hair that I've seen, a lot of those products, they have just really either chemically smells or they smell a little too earthy, a little too natural. So I like that these are, um, I wouldn't say an in-between, but it just smells very light, very feminine. And then the final product that I have in my glam bag is from Firma Beauty. This is their 103 brush. So this is their angled contour brush and this is a full size product. It retails for $14.99. Um, this is really nice because I, I'm not wearing any contour today, but I like to chisel out my cheekbones and when I'm going for full glam, when I'm filming or when I'm just going out anywhere. I'm not going anywhere right now in the pandemic, so really when I'm filming um, and I like to put on contour, I do like these brushes that just fit nicely into my cheekbones and nicely chisel out my jawline. This is a very soft brush and it will definitely get a lot of use. So that is all for the Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, it is said to be $50 plus in value. You pay $12 a month. However, that Sunday Riley High Dose Retinoid Serum is over $100 and then the brush was $14.99. So at that, I mean, that's only two products. The others are deluxe sample sizes, um, but you got, you got two full size products. So definitely it pays for itself and then some. Moving into the Glam Bag Plus, this is the design for the Glam Bag Plus. It is honestly just a bigger version of the Glam Bag. As you guys can see, it's a little sack for all the products and then on the back it says you are magic and it has these drawstrings and then you can put everything inside the bag. From Ciate London we have this extraordinary translucent powder. I've only tried a few products from Ciate London but they always have such cute dainty packaging. This is a full size product and as the name says it is a translucent powder that is super duper white. Um, I would be interested to try this out and just do like a flashback test and see how it works on melanated skin because I typically reach for um, translucent powder that is more on like the banana, the deep shade, like the translucent powder that actually has a tint to it because translucent powder that looks like this, it makes me look very, very ashy. So if you guys would wanna see a video of me doing a first impression trying this out, let me know down in the comment section. The next product is from another brand that I have not heard of. This is Illuminati. This is their Enlightened Quad Palette. In this quad palette, you're getting two shimmers and two matte shades. This is a pretty warm tone palette that is is perfect for the upcoming holiday season. You can use it for Christmas, Thanksgiving, or New Year's, whatever you want to do. Um, but definitely see myself using the shimmer shades, especially this gold for New Year's. Um, and then the rose gold kind of color, using that more for like Christmas or something. The next product in the Glam Bag Plus is from Laboratories Philorga Paris. This is their Youth Performance Oxygen Glow Eyes. And I'm not quite sure what the product is, um, but just from reading the box, it says super smoothing radiance eye care. It revives, moisturizes, and illuminates. You get 0.5 fluid ounces of product and the product contains super skin boosting factors such as oxygen releaser, L enzyme, and hyaluronic acid. So this product was actually made in France and the directions are not in English. <laughs> so 
I'm assuming that this is an eye cream that you put on underneath your eyes. Um, I don't know much about eye creams and to be honest with you, I've never used one because I'm so scared that I'm going to have an allergic reaction and my eyes are gonna be swollen shut. But this is what the product looks like. It just comes in a cute, pink tube, very minimal packaging, pink with black lettering. The next product in the Glam Bag Plus is this Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. It is an eyeshadow palette. It is a mini palette and you are getting nine different shades. This is so beautiful just looking at this from right here. Very, very fall toned. You're getting a lot of vampy colors. I don't know if I said 12 shades, there are nine. If I said 12, just ignore me. If I didn't, ignore me as well. Um, but you're getting three shimmer shades as well as six matte shades, but very beautiful cranberry very vampy fall tones, very, very appropriate. So if you guys would love to see me create a look with this, definitely comment that down below. And then the final product that I have in my Glam Bag Plus is from LaRousse or LaRouche, LaRousse. Let's say LaRousse. And I am very carefully trying to open this envelope because it looks so official. Ooh. These are beautiful. These are brushes. I didn't know what I was expecting in this envelope, but these are brushes and they feel divine. You get a four piece brush set that is so soft. You can feel the luxury just dripping out of these brushes. These are very, very beautiful. You can tell that these are quality. Like I feel fancy. They just, they feel so good in the hand. But it has the LaRousse branding up top. It's just engraved into the brush. And then on the actual brush, it says what kind of brush it is. So this is the LR360 Tapered Face Brush. You also get the LR322 Kabuki Brush. You also get the LR322 Kabuki Brush, which is perfect for blending out foundation sticks. I have been on a foundation stick kick recently. You can also use it to blend out your contour, whatever you want to do. Um, I like to use it for cream products. The next brush that you get is the LR331 Flat Ankle Brush. I've actually never used a brush with this shape, um, so I would be interested. I always see it and think of Sailor Moon, think of like a crescent moon, but then also think that like I just want to like put it up against my cheek. I don't know what to do with it. Um, but another soft, very densely, tightly packed brush. And the final brush that you get is their LR342 and this is their contour blending brush. So again, blending out contour. Um, I just change between whether I wanna use cream products or powder products. Uh, typically I use powder products, but for right now I've been using a lot of cream products. So that is all in my Glam Bag as well as my Glam Bag Plus. I'll make sure that I leave information down below on all the products that I mentioned here, as well as if you want to join Ipsy, a link for you guys to join. If you guys wanna see more of these unboxings or any tutorials or anything like that, first impressions with any of the products that I mentioned here, definitely leave them down below. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.